Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 26 from the NASB on February 26, 2023. Like snow in the summer or rain in the harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a sparrow when it's flitting, like a swallow when it's flying, a curse that is causeless does not alight. A whip for the horse and a bridle for the donkey, a rod for the back of fools. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. Whoever sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Like a lame man's legs, which hang useless, is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds the stone in the sling is one who gives honor to a fool. Like thorn, like a thorn that goes up in the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like an archer who wounds everyone who hires is one who hires a passing fool or drunkard. Like a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool who repeats his own folly. Do you see a man who's wise in his own eyes? There's more hope for a fool than for him. The sluggard says, there's a lion in the road. There's a lion in the streets. And as the door turns on his hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish, but it wears him out to even bring the food back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Whoever meddles in a quarrel, not his own, is like one who takes a passing dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows of death, is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I'm only joking. For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no whisper, quarreling ceases. As charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife. The words of a whisper are like delicious morsels, and they go down on the inner parts of the body. Like the glaze covering an earthen vessel are fervent, fervent lips with an evil heart. Whoever hates disguises himself with his lips and harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. And a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. A lying tongue takes, hates his victims, and a flattering mouth works ruin. I don't know why, but I keep coming back to the metaphor of a stone tied in a sling. So a sling, I, I would assume everybody knows this, but let's not, uh, is a piece of leather, primarily leather. I mean, you can do it with cloth, but they would whip it around and get the centrifugal force going and release one side of it and that sucker would release what was ever in there so if it was a smooth stone for better aerodynamics whip but when you if you were going to bind a stone to the sling that means you're going to swing it and then you're going to let that puppy go and then i guess what it's going to swing around and smack him in the head Right? I mean, you can, or this? No, this? This way? We're gonna swing it, let go, and instead of the stone going, it just comes back around. Smack. That's an interesting metaphor to me. It took me kind of working out like what that meant just now. But um, yeah, don't give don't give honor to a fool because they're only gonna take that for more foolishness and validation for them. So even trying to give flowers to somebody just to be nice, like, bro, don't do it if they don't deserve it. Several things on a fool, like relying a fool for a messenger. Done it before in my life. Let's just say that because, you know, you try to delegate responsibility and it's not like, ooh, I don't want to do this. It's, I'm trying to, you know, we try to empower people, but, um, Everybody is not you. Everybody does not operate like you. Everyone does not think like you. So don't send somebody in your place. Be very choosy who you send, even if it's a messenger. And then I thought it was interesting, the, um, the, the archer who wounds everybody that's passing by is somebody that hires a fool or a drunker, a passing fool or a drunker. I went to school for, for psych, man. That's selection theory in the Bible. That's interesting. It's like, you know, people may need work and they may say they can do the job. They may demonstrate they can do the job. But if they demonstrate other things, stay away from them. You know, you don't have to give them your money. You don't have to enable them. 
And the other thing about, you know, the lazy person, they're always making an excuse. There's a lion out there. There's a lion in the street that's going to get me. Or just turning over in bed. I'm tired. Man, I, I guess Facebook heard me talking about David Goggins because one of my buddies is very into him. And um, I've listened to so much David Goggins this week. It's crazy. I need to just break down and read the books. But so many interviews and just shorts from him. So stay hard. And he's right. You know what I mean? you got to lean into the pain sometimes. But um, this also talks about, like, Proverbs, right? So we're, we've been reading Proverbs and from other traditions and other wise people. You know, you can have Proverbs and then you have people who misunderstand them or rather don't understand the context or the full depth of the meaning. Or even better, they don't care to. They don't care. They just want to say, like, here's this thing and they're whipping people with it you know they're a drunkard with a, a thorny branch so it's like it, good you know a proverb you're abusing people with it um and it says it two or three times here that it's like uh lame man's legs is useless in a proverb in the mouth of fools and i'll still come back to the buying the stone and the sling to give honor to a fool what what and um yeah man honor's not fitting for a fool but our society is glorifying it and people around us are glorifying fools and clamoring to be fools and uh shout out to lamplighter if anybody listens to that radio drama and apparently they're a drama theater school a christian one uh, mad respect to them. We listen to them on the radio. They're doing a really cool radio show, and I kind of missed the start of it, but I've been tuning into the episodes, But um, so I'm not sure of the plot. But the characters are hubris, pride, Miss Folly, um, and so on. And I'm, I'm loving it, because these characters are embodying the concepts we're talking about in Proverbs. So I'm going to try to link that or... Maybe I'll do a short thing, like a react to them, something like that, just to spread the word on them. And um, the other thing on this one is I, I want to say, man, like somebody needs to hear this. I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody needs to hear this. So I'm going to make a point to say it uh, because this speaks to me, you know, when I need to hear it. It's Proverbs 26 two, like a sparrow in its flitting and a swallow in its flying, a curse that is causeless does not alight. Don't, don't worry about what other people are doing or wishing on you or saying about you or hating on you or putting intentions out on you. If it's unjust, it is, it is not your problem. Not only is it not your problem, it's like, I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. And look, it it's scriptural, dude. Don't that's part of the reason like I, I love my friends that are of other religious persuasions and traditions but you know when it comes to like being afraid of some of those other traditions like ooh, i'm gonna get a hex put on me or something like mm, 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 mm. and i'm not saying that stuff is not real we can have a whole another argument or discussion i'm saying look man it's i'm i'm pointing because i'm reading <laughs> i'm reading above the the screen because I'm protected. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm protected from it. And this is pre-Jesus. This is pre-blood of Jesus. This is somebody in the old covenant. I got to make a video on that too, but I got to get up and get this order. But um, I met somebody today uh, and it was just a divine appointment for both of us. So I'm going to make a video about that. Let me get in, pick up this order, drop it off. And then hopefully I've got enough sunlight. So I'm not doing this in the dark. And have a great Sunday. I hope that you've had a nice Sunday. I hope that you spend it with your family. I got to be outside in the garden, make a chalk obstacle course. And um, I bought some plants. If you saw my short, you know, we were put here to be in a garden, basically. So it speaks to me. So I want to promote edible landscaping and food forests and permaculture. So I need to be a shining example, just like we need to as Christians, you know, salt and light. So also need to be a source, you know, today, Pastor Mike talked about, um, 
you know, the living water that's imparted within us and that we're a spring that should be flowing out in the community. Speaking of which, I know I said I was going to end this, but um, there's a Discover Bible group or a methodology. So I'm going to be trying to attend a Discover Bible group at my pastor's house to kind of just join another group, but also to learn that methodology. And I am... Um, I'm hoping that people are going to be into that. I know people aren't really watching my Proverbs videos, and that's cool. These are for me, but if you happen to watch this and you want to do a Discover Bible course with me, we would probably do it more in a live format. Um, I'll sit at a desktop and we'll do something like that. But let me know down in the comments, and um, have a great day. Be blessed, everybody. And remember, don't honor fools.